Yo, what is good, Fight Fans? This is Ashley's Corner. And man, yo, I, the smiles don't stop when it comes to Earl Spence, man. He never disappoint. He never disappoint me, ever, okay? Now, y'all already know, I fuck with Earl Spence. That's my number one cat right there, okay? And what makes him number one is for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of reasons, but this is one of them. The boy never clams up. He never stutters. He never he never thinks twice about what the hell he's gonna say when somebody asks him about another fighter coming in his division. He will fight you. I fucks with Earl Spence. Yes. If y'all don't know, um he was asked Earl Spence was asked about um Terrence Crawford. You know, everybody knows that um he's gonna be he's gonna uh Come down, I mean, come up to 147 pounds. He's going to come up to welterweight. And uh, he's going to be a force in the welterweight division after he collect all these belts um, when he fights um, Julius and Dongo. I'm not I'm not counting Julius and Dongo out. I honestly think if he loses this fight, he might get a rematch, but he still plans on coming to 147. Regardless, he's going to be at welterweight. Now, since he's at, since when he goes to welterweight, He's only going to do one of two things. Either he's going to fight somebody who doesn't have a title first, or he's going to fight somebody who does. I honestly think that he might uh, fight fight somebody, and not for a tune-up fight, but just to get his feel with the welterweights in, in the division. I don't think it's going to be a big, big name, but he's going to fight somebody to get himself into it first. He might go straight for a belt. You know, I wouldn't... I wouldn't put it past Terrence Crawford. He has the skill to do so. But, I mean, to be smart, to just to, just to play it safe, you know, I would I would advise him if I was one of his advisors to uh, take, a, uh, take a fight with a random welterweight fighter, you know, before he fights one of the greats, you know. And one of the greats is like, is the top five to me. I always call the greats. Danny Garcia has moved off of that list. <laughs> but, you know, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, um, and uh, and um, Earl, Earl Spence, the people that have titles right now. I don't think Jeff Horn will have a title when he moves to 147 because whoever he fights next, he will lose to. That's what I think. Even if he does get a rematch with Pacquiao, I still think he's going to lose against Pacquiao. Pacquiao's not going to make the same mistake twice. He will drop that cat. But, um, yeah, man, this, I fucked with Earl Spence. He's never scared to fight nobody. That man talks up. He talks clear. He says it with his chest. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with cuz. Okay, you're never gonna have a you're never gonna have a debate on if he duck if he ducks somebody. I fuck with Javante Davis. I honestly don't think he's ducked anybody. I'm not. I don't think he's scared to fight anybody. He has a team. He has Al Heyman. He has Floyd Mayweather in his corner. It's a lot of things that he cannot do that he wants to do. And I'm more than sure fighting Loman Kachinko was one of those things. But he can't do so. So everybody's think he's ducking Lo- Loman Kachinko. All right, whatever. I don't care. All right. But he's still one of my favorite fighters. He he's definitely my favorite in that division, and Earl Spence is my favorite in welterweight. When it comes to um, when it comes to Deontay Wilder, everybody says that he's ducking people. You know what I'm saying? He's scared of uh, Dylan White, or you know he's ducking this person. He's ducking that. People don't want to do this. Don't want to do that. You know. But I honestly think he has reason to do that too. But I'm just saying, a lot of people. Call a lot of call um a lot of fans call a lot of fighters duckers for one reason or another. You're not gonna hear that with Earl Spence Jr. You're not. That's why he's at the top of the list for a lot of reasons. It's like I said, but that's another reason why he's at the top. There's nobody you can't hate on Earl Spence. If you don't like Earl Spence as a fighter, then you're just a fucking hater. Slam like that. You are a fanboy or a fan girl. You're not a fan of boxing. You're just a fan of certain fighters. Okay, there's no reason for anybody not to like Earl Spence. Okay, he fought um before he fought uh Cal Brook, everybody hated his ass because he was fighting Cal Brook and people like Cal Brook. Well, after he had that worst display of fighting and still beat Cal Brook, what's the reason that you don't like him now? He's he's not a big trash talker. 
You know, he uh he has a he has a nice level head on his shoulders. This shit's refreshing every time anybody talk to him. I fucks with Earl Spence, okay? I fucks with him. And I believe he will sweep, he will take everybody out in this division. I don't think it's anybody in the well to rate on the well to weight division that's fucking with Earl Spence right now. But if we if we're gonna bring Terrence Bur- Bud Crawford into uh in, into the division, well shit. Let's just let's just look at Terrence Specs and look at EJ Specs. Since everybody keeps saying that, you know, Bud is pretty big. You know what I'm saying? He he's he's big. No, EJ is big. Earl Spence Jr. is big for a welterweight. You know what I mean? But Terrence Terrence Bud Crawford isn't small. Like people are right about that. But the specs on them go as follows. Earl Spence Jr. is 27 years old. Okay, he's he's um he has an 86 percent KO rating. He's fought for 88 rounds. All right, he's five nine and a half with a 72 inch reach, and fought 22 22 bouts. Um, Buck Crawford fought 31 bouts. He has a 71 percent KO rating. He's fought for 165 rounds. He's five eight, and with a reach of 70 inches. Now, when it comes to the size. You know, Earl Spence has a size difference. The only thing that Bud has over um, Spence is the experience. He's killing the experience. He doubled the experience damn near. Well, yeah, he's double the experience for uh, as many rounds as as he fought for um, Earl Spence. But always like and subscribe to the page. And let me know who y'all think is going to win.